everybody, my name is Luke and I am one of the musical leaders from Some Voices. Today in this video we are going to be looking at the different voice parts that there are in the choir, specifically focusing on the tenor part. In the choir we've got the sopranos, that being the highest voice, we've got the altos, which is the middle, and then we've got the tenors, which is the lowest voice part. Two-thirds of the male voices fall in this category. Two-thirds of the female voices usually fall in sopranos and altos. There are exceptions everywhere and every single voice is going to be different. So in everything that I'm going to be telling you today, please always, if you can, have it reassured by a professional vocal coach or with your musical director. We are going to be focusing on the tenor part. My voice is classified with the tenor range and the best way to find that out is to see where you sing the most comfortably. We are going to be going through a small warm-up tailored for the tenor voice, which you are of course encouraged to join in. If you find it comfortable, that might be your first indication that your voice part falls within this range. We're going to start with a small warm-up. Make sure that there's absolutely no tension in your body. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. While you're doing that breathing, um, just a small reminder, encouraging you, if you're going to do these warm-ups with me, I encourage you to do them either early on, um, no, rather, I'm encouraging you to not do them early on in the morning or late at night. In the morning, your voice might not be properly warmed up yet, and at night, your voice might be too tired. So I really encourage you to do them bang in the middle of the day. We are going to just do a nice sigh, breathing in and... One more time, breathing in. Fantastic. Can I just hear your voice with a... A really nice and pressureless yawn. Breathing in and that should really open your voice nicely. Singing with me, can you sing a hey you guys, hey you guys. I'm going to be speaking about this later but try and also get the pitch that I am singing it in, not too high or too low. Hey, hey, you guys, together, two, three, and hey, you guys, going up, two, three, four. Hey, you guys, up, two, three. Hey, you guys, two, three. Hey, you guys, up, two, three. Hey, you guys. If at this point, it feels that it's a bit too low for you right now, it's completely fine. We're starting at the very bottom of the range right now. The higher we go, the more forward I'm going to encourage you to bring your voice. Hey, you guys. As forward as you can, rather than hey, rather than back there. Hey, you guys. Can you try that with me? Two, three, and hey, you guys. Up, two, three. Hey, you guys, up, two, three. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Some of you, at the higher we're going to start going, at this point, you might start feeling almost a roof to your voice. Hey, you guys. If you are singing in my pitch right now, and that feels, it feels okay, but just slowly starts to be feeling, ooh, it's like I'm approaching the top of my voice. That might be your first indication that you will have a tenor voice right there. Ta -ra -ra. If this feels low to you, incredibly, hey, you guys, if that feels like it's a little bit low, that might be your first indication that you're a bit further up, that you might be with the alto section. Hey, you guys. I'm going to keep going up. See at which point it feels too high. Super important. This is a one-way conversation that I'm doing right now. I can't stop you or tell you to go. If you feel that you are pushing your voice, 
I really encourage you to stop it right there. If anything, make sure that you do not hurt your voice. Two, three. Hey, you guys. Up, two, three. Hey, you guys. Make sure that you breathe. Three. Hey, you guys. Two, three. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Two, stop it there. Some tenor voices go even higher than that. However, the majority of the voices, especially those who roll baritones, this will be the maximum that they can go. If this is the highest that you feel that your voice can go, probably that's a good indication that you are a tenor. If at this point, as I said earlier, if you're still feeling like, oh, this is fine, this is a piece of cake, if you feel that you can go even higher, much higher than that, mm, da -da. If you feel that you can still keep going up like that, then maybe that's a good indication that you might want to try and have a look at the alto video as well, which will take you even higher than that and see if you feel comfortable there. Just to relax and make sure that there's no tension there, give me a nice sigh, breathing in and... <sighs> I'm in this video, I'm not assuming that any of you are musical or have done this before, so that's why I'm uh, taking it very back to the very beginning. If I had to be rigorous and tell you what is my exact range, that is the range of a tenor. Mm, that being your lowest note down there. Mm, up there. That note is just likely out of my range. Up there. That is technically what is the exact defined tenor range, okay? It doesn't mean that you need to reach those However, if you fall in between those notes, down there, that is the full range. If that note, you can go even higher than that, again, that's probably a good indication that you might want to try the alto range. When I'm doing these, it's very important that even when you're going to go through this video maybe again, that you find the right pitch that you are singing at. What do I mean? If I give you that note, you can also sing that note on that note or that note, that note, that note, no, no. How do both of these notes still fit with that one note? Why? Because they're the same note on a different pitch. The best way to find what the different pitches, pitch, pitches are is by singing a very famous song that I'm not going to sing because of copyright, but, go, but it goes somewhere over the thing that comes out after the rain. Somewhere. That is the best way to alternate between the pitch. Those musical among us know that that's called an octave. So if I give you that note, make sure that you are, especially if you've got a higher voice, make sure that you're not singing that note in a higher pitch than I am. That note is right there. So, mm, that note. If you sing, the best way to find it as you are doing this on your own right now, the best way is to try all the different versions, both going up and going down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can't even go down there. The big bass has to do that. Um, but really playing with those different pitches to make sure that you are singing the note that I'm giving you, not higher or lower. When a tenor specifically is giving a note to an alto, our ranges intertwine, but at different pitches, okay? So that is why you need to be very careful that you are singing in my right pitch. If you are singing with me in the right pitch, that is your tenor voice. Here somewhere. I'm gonna do another warm up in my pitch sing along with me and you can also play and see are you in the next pitch up if you're in the next higher pitch that might be a better um, indication that you should try the alto side if you are with me if you feel that you are with me even when you're trying out the different pitch levels then that is a good indication that you're a tenor somewhere going up somewhere Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere.
somewhere, somewhere. Turn us for reaching the top slowly here. Three, somewhere. One, two, three, somewhere. tenor at this point you're probably approaching towards the roof okay the ceiling of your voice some tenors high tenors especially will go up another couple of notes very very easily and um, the most of us here's where you go to start finding that oh that is the highest that I can go if your voice falls into the alto the next step up okay at this point somewhere make sure that you are singing it in the right in, in the in the right voice okay in the voice that you're comfortable with that being your chest voice not your head voice okay not your falsetto mm, that is your falsetto voice whereas mm, that is your mm, that is your chest voice mm, that is your falsetto voice that is your chest voice make sure that you're singing in the way that you're most comfortable. That is what vocal range is all about at the end of the day, making sure that you're singing comfortable and not damaging your voice. I hope that was as helpful as can be. If you've got any questions about it in particular, or you're keen to find out more about where your voice part sits, please get in touch with some voices and I'm sure that will offer the help that you require. Oh, and don't forget, remember to subscribe to the Some Voices channel. If there's, if, if you can see a bell somewhere around here, make sure that you press it so that you get notifications from us whenever we've got something live, some sessions going on. Keep in touch, keep singing, and bye bye.